But yeah, Swooper projected to win this. Projected to win this match. One of the top seeds of the entire tournament. I think he's top four. So we'll see how he does here as we move into game number one. Oh, this is looking like a like hand warmer. Huh? I guess they're going into it. Just kind of letting him get that charge shot right off the, the bat. Yeah, Samus with the charge shot. Very scary. I'm not sure of the specific uh, like setups that, that Samus can like use it with against Marth. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It might be sort of an edge guard heavy thing. I know you know some characters can force Marth to up B on the stage by holding lead. I don't know if Samus has ways to get a oh. ooh combos into it there. Yeah, using the the down air. Anytime I see Swooper use the down air, it's just uh, it's like yeah. an artist, you know. <laughs> It's one of those moves that just feels so terrible to get hit by because you just feel like you're in hit stun for years. Yeah, and Swooper makes the most of it every single time. And yeah, Kikuho has to figure out what we were talking about earlier. How are you going to edge guard Samus? How are you going to kill Samus? Has Swooper in the corner here, but uses the charge shot to get some space. Nice. Catches him trying to, to edge cancel to get out of the end lag of that up B, but that tipper. Maybe it wasn't a tipper up tilt, but didn't quite finish the stock there. Here we are. We're going to see a lot of this throughout the set. Lots of Marth waiting around for Samus to recover. Trying to find the one hit. That Nair is still not going to do it. So, yeah, back to this. Kikaho just waiting for Swooper to come back. That Nair's Nair is still not going to do it. 178. We're two minutes in. Ooh, okay, good the drop call zone. Out. Neutral B. Unorthodox choice, but catch the Swooper just coming a little too close to stage. Yeah, not expecting Swoop a hitbox there. Swooper has not been snapping to the ledge uh, when using the the grappling hook. So, open oh, another charge shot falling off the platform. Swooper has used it a lot so far in this first game, and it's catching Kikaho off guard, getting this percent. Okay. Has Good something tech going. chase there. Holds in on the the fair. Let them get a down air, but not quite dead yet. That's you know happened from way too high up. Sam is not going too low from the dare. Yeah, this game is all swooper right now. Good early up B from Kikaho, preventing Swooper from getting the the ledge steal he was going for. Look at Swooper just playing around the top platform. Gets pushed off with the light shield, and, and Kikaho has him in a juggle slash edge guard situation right now. Okay, another air dodge. This time snaps to the ledge. Yeah, it's tough trying to grab ledge against Samus when, when she's still got her, her grapple. Kikaho just kind of has to get off and let him back. Yeah, it's a very scary position to be in, especially like as Marth, because um, you're like close hitboxes. If like Samus, you know, um, decides to like um, zoom towards the towards the stage with the grappling hook, can be really bad. And Samus can like get out of there really quick, and all of a sudden you're like off stage in an edge guard situation. We saw Kikaho get the last stock a little bit quicker with the, the classic floaty killer side B to up tilt, but um, I think he's still gonna have to get a couple more like really early kills if he wants to keep it close because he just. The way these games are going, he's going to have to do so much more percent than Swooper to, to pull away with victory. One thing that, yeah, Swooper's been trying to go for that, like, up out of shield a lot, which is very good as Samus, but I think Kikuho has done a good job of at least avoiding uh, getting hit by that. Yeah, it seems like it would be less powerful against Marth than some characters who, who doesn't necessarily pressure your shield from right on top of you and, and won't be as susceptible to that. And then just with the disjoint and the amount of upwards reaching moves like up air and up tilt, uh, it'd be easier to catch Samus coming back down even on the triplat stages. And this should probably be it, yeah. Super finding the forward smash and taking game number one. Swooper right now just 
in the zone, it seems. Got the, the slippy hat. Counter pick is Yoshi's here. I think you're likely to see either that or, or FD in, in most situations. Yeah, FD takes away the platforms uh, for Samus, which helps a lot with like the edge guard situations, the like downer setups that we saw earlier. Uh, edge canceling up B. So you could help possibly just opting for a stage that allows for a little bit earlier kills. Um, Not having to wait as long on the edge guard, really. Yep. The, the slant at the edge of the level can sometimes help Marth, um, you know, catch you out when you're trying to sweet spot. Whether you, you stand there and down tail, stand there and forward smash, you reach a little bit lower because of the angle of the stage. Yeah, the platform heights are pretty good. Uh, if Kikuho, Kikuho can get like Swooper above him, but oh, yeah, just getting stuck in the movement after the power shield. And look, oh, look at that the wall jump. jump! Oh my god! Finds a Nair. Okay, Kikuho still had to jump. But very dangerous situation. I think that's a couple times that that, that Swooper's caught him tr trying to do a move at ledge when he's thrown out that um, charge shot and it's really just going to out-prioritize and beat anything that Kiko is trying to wall him out with there. Of course, Smash just missing and yeah, Swooper taking full advantage. Finds himself off stage yet again. And Super just looks really comfortable on the ledge. Yeah, I think it was a good choice by Kikaho to, to respect his space a little more there and, and not leave himself open to get hit by like the um, aerial interrupt forward tilt we saw last time or, or the, the fares we've seen from ledge a couple of times. But he ended up getting clipped by a missile anyways once Super came back on. Good grab here, might lead to something. Ooh, Ooh really, really great drop through fair in there. Yeah, and Super with the, the coverage on that uh, Omsa Tech, just falling immediately with that Nair. Yeah. And now Super just using the missiles, sitting back. Taking his sweet time with this one. But Kikuho has a little string going here, 71% already. And that F smash very close to connecting. Nair's really deep into him and gets clipped by that up B. Oh, this turning oh, into no. a big combo. Hey, you gotta be careful when Swooper starts down airing. Ooh, that grab reaches. Turns into a Nair. What else is he gonna get? Marth Nair just dare out. Dare is surprisingly one of, one of Marth's fastest aerials in terms of start up. Pretty good for, for getting out of some of those juggle situations. But if it does not connect, you know, then you end up at even more risk. Yeah, a lot of uh, end lag to punish, but finds it there from the ledge. So Kikuho bring it back to two stocks apiece, but not for long. Kalvar was talking about the strategy a little bit earlier when he had to play super and doubles, just kind of guarding his space with the bomb, making it difficult for Marth to, to push in. Yeah, Kiko really just throwing out a lot of hitboxes uh, to like take up space and call out Swooper like pushing. Swooper is not doing that. Swooper is kind of sitting back and going into the air a little. I'm picking his spots very well. Kiko is definitely keeping these games respectable, but might have to might have to change something up a little bit if he's gonna. Yeah, and just letting game through here. just letting Swooper get a full chart. Are they? Okay, they're going. But yeah, Kiko just lets Swooper get a full charge shot at the start of the game. Yeah, maybe just kind of collecting himself there, but um, it's not it's not too easy for uh, Samus to, to get those charge opportunities while playing neutral, so it is kind of a lot to, to give up there. Yeah, and we've seen how Swooper has used a charge shot throughout this set. You it's know he's successful. gonna make it impactful. It's another grab and... Yeah. Slippy's got to start giving us the accuracy stats on Samus projectiles. Yeah, seriously.
good fair string there from Kikaho. Uses the side B to get himself back to stage and turned around the direction he wants to be facing. But Super still got the, the grapple there. It's gonna help him get back. Super very good at using the light shield uh, on platforms. Yeah, absolutely. Gets himself pushed off, gets out of trouble a little bit more easily. Um, yeah. I don't really know exactly uh, what, what Samus's go-to shield drop options are um, when defending on a platform. If that's a position that she's okay with being in or not. It seems like shield drop Nair would be pretty decent. Yeah, shield drop Nair. I, I feel like shield drop forward air too, just because it has that yeah. hitbox that comes pretty quick. And Swooper, again, when you see that down air, Finds his way back. Oh, the the up tilt gets interrupted there by the bomb. Yeah, the, the the bomb's really making it a little a little more difficult to educate uh, to execute some of these juggle situations. And Swooper almost died to that dolphin slash, but used the uh, it got an ops attack, able to make it back. Gets a little more percent, and Kikoho just getting stuffed in the face with a missile there. Once again, down a full stock. And there's the light shield again. That bomb was so good. Really beautiful sequence there from Swooper. And Higo just decides to, to end it. Yeah, so 3 0 for Swooper. Moving on. Top 24 winner side. Excellent showing there. Some really, some really crisp movements, some stylish Samus play.